Who are you? Did you just come to the wall? Madness? Yeah. I'm Nancy. I'm here to get you out. Are you hurt anywhere? No, but he's... he's coming back. Who is? Sword. I knew it. His polite demeanor was all an act, wasn't it? It's true. He kept me here alone at first. Tried to get me to talk. Thought I was hiding information. But when he found out I truly didn't know the treasure's final location, he grew angry. Very angry. I don't know what he's gone and done now, or when he's coming back. I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. Oh, you've been in a cave for the last few days. I don't think you had any part in this. I did, though. Long before the festival. Nearly all my life, I treated Soren poorly, just because I was told to. We all did. That would make anyone furious. Now it's come to this. And it's driven him mad. Well, maybe Soren can be reasoned with. I think he can, but it may be too late. He's caused a lot of trouble. We're not out of danger yet, either. Maybe this is a wake-up call for all of us. Come on, Magnus. I promised Elizabeth I'd bring you back in one piece, and I don't like to disappoint. Elizabeth? Is she all right? I, I need to talk to her. I made a terrible mistake. She's A-OK. -okay. Let's get out of here. I know just the girl to find us some backup. Alex, are you there? Am I ever not? What's the sitch? Uh, not great. I'm somewhere inside the volcanic caves near Skiprot. I have Magnus with me, and I think we're kind of in dire straits here. Soren's the one responsible for all this. Nancy, you're breaking up. Did you say Soren? Nancy? Nancy, I'm gonna distract someone. Hang in there. <sighs> no signal. I guess we'll have to find a way out on our own. What was that? Soren, I can't believe you'd do all this. That bruise on your face, selling the ship rights. You lied to me. You were using us all to find the treasure for you. But you're still missing something, aren't you? Oh, Nancy, you're a very smart girl. You know exactly why we're here. You're gonna find that treasure for me right now. Just you, me, and Gudrun here. That's done. Look, there's your treasure. <laughs> the crest of the Dutch East India Company. And the detail, it's exquisite. After all these years, I found it. It was all worth it. Well. I think it's high time I vanished. Goodbye, Nancy. I won't be back, but I'm sure you'll make it out of here eventually. That is, if you don't starve or freeze first. Give those xenophobic idiots my regards. Wait, Soren! treasure. It's not a myth after all. These images are from Lawrence's final letter. I just need to press them correctly.
I must have been the first to get this far. This is incredible. Nancy, are, are you back there? Madness, I'm here. I found the real deal. But I think I'm stuck now. I'm not sure how to get over to the exit. Hello. Well, that works too. <laughs> so, the treasure Soren found was a fake? Yes, Captain Lawrence hid the real chest so that only his true descendants knew where to find it. Well, it's yours now. I don't think so. This treasure belongs to the town, not me. Nancy, thank goodness. We have Soren in custody. My guys caught him right as he was leaving the caves. That was close. What should we do with him? Soren can be reasoned with. Things just got a little out of hand. Keep a close eye on him until we get back to town. You got it, lady. See you soon. I think I'm calling this case closed. Dear Hannah, the secret of Skip Rot's famous treasure is finally put to rest, and the case is closed. Soren confessed to his crimes as soon as Magnus and I caught up with him. As it turns out, he was the one following Magnus all along, looking for his chance to take the treasure for himself. Soren was ordered to complete a thousand hours of community service in lieu of jail time, and he took the sentence very seriously. He's been incredibly active around town ever since. The treasure is in good hands with Elizabeth. Her family legacy has finally come full circle. Magnus apologized to Elizabeth for having been so distant leading up to the festival. The two of them are doing well, and Magnus finally got that ship he's always dreamed of. He and Elizabeth packed their things and left to travel the world. And of course, Toomey went too. I just got a call from Elizabeth. I think they're somewhere near Thailand as we speak. Elizabeth left the Misty Skip Pub in Gunner's hands while she's gone. Gunner seems to be happier than ever. He's back on his feet, and he even took me out on a fishing trip. He's still pretty cranky when it comes to tourists, but I think he'll get the hang of things. Soren's helping Gunner out with the pub as part of his community service arrangement, and he seems to be settling in. People are still wary of Soren, but they're starting to warm up to him in a way they haven't before. The attitude around town is definitely changing. Dagny and Magnus donated their exploration rights to the Hirlikide back to Skiprot. The ship is now fully public property and is open to tourists at all times of the year. Dagny stayed in Skiprot for a little while, but she split soon after she got her share of the treasure. At first she seemed content to stay, but after a couple of days with no action, it seemed like she was itching to get out on the road. She didn't say much about where she was going, but I later found a note in my room at the pub. Catch you later, friend. I really dropped the ball on my anniversary with Ned this year. As an apology, I've planned a makeup trip to the River Heights Zoo, his favorite city spot. I'm hoping next year will be better. Time heals all wounds, as they say. As for me, I think my time in the land of fire and ice is coming to a close. I'll miss the sky full of stars, but I've been in darkness a long time now. I can't wait to see the sun again. Love, Nancy. Nancy, it's me, Deirdre. I know you're not exactly president of my fan club, but listen, I need your help. Someone really important to me is in danger. Things are going from bad to worse. People are even saying she's some kind of witch. Nancy, if you don't help me, I don't think she's gonna make it out of this alive. Join me on my next adventure. <laughs>